a little bit. And Inglewood man had enough of the pest living in his attic, but it turns out that pest making all the noise wasn't a small one. It was a boa constrictor. Oh, man. News Channel 8's John Rogers talked to the horrified homeowner about how in the world the boa got into the attic. Good evening. Bob Vanderhurchen believes this boa was at one time someone's pet, and it probably got into this house by slithering off one of these trees here. And this boa probably called this place home for quite some time. Yeah, it looks like it's still there. Over the past few months, yeah. Bob Vanderhurchen's son had a well, feeling like something he just he wasn't right. He used to complain he'd hear sounds in the attic. I didn't think much of it. I thought maybe it was rats. Well, it's moving. But his son was convinced it was a snake. Yeah, Finally, Vander Hurchin found it hiding among insulation. It took three and a half minutes for this snake to move into that rafter space. So it was a big snake. Yeah, it was bigger than I expected. Turns out it was a boa constrictor. A snake trapper found it had shed some skin. It may have been there for around two to four years. Probably over the last couple years, my wife said she heard sounds in the attic. My son had said he heard sounds in the attic. Finally, after much wrangling, the boa was removed. And get this, it was more than six feet long. It was actually bunking in the rafter space right above the floor to room chair where my wife sits. Wow, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Vander Hurchin would have much preferred a rat in the attic instead of a boa. Yeah. But nonetheless, he's thankful this uninvited guest is gone. Only in Florida. The snake trapper is now looking to find a more suitable home for this boa. Reporting in Englewood, John Rogers.